Hey everybody, Doge798 here. This is my 2014 Toonami review. The new Toonami lineup has been going on for three weeks now. And I've been trying to do a Toonami review for a long time now, but I kept putting it off and on because of the long narrations. Like I said, the new webcam review makes these type of reviews faster. Faster and much easier than finding a bunch of photos and with that being said this is one of the best lineups Toonami has ever had it has its flaws which I'm about to talk about in a minute but this right here is one of the best lineups ever it starts is Toonami starts at a new time 1130 with Space Dandy Space Dandy is a really awesome anime not the best anime ever but a really good fresh new anime for the Adult Swim Toonami block then, of course, at 12 o'clock, we have Bleach. Bleach, like I said, I've been a huge, I'm a huge Bleach fan. I was briefly turned off the Bleach back in 2012, but when they reformatted to fit on Toonami, Toonami, I started watching again, and you don't know how excited I was when they finally finished those crappy fillers and got back to the um main plot in all the episodes have been awesome in the end when Ichigo finally defeated Aizen was fucking phenomenal I've been trying to review Bleach for a while now I'm gonna be reviewing that soon and I'm enjoying the new episodes and the new plot now um next at 12:30 we have Naruto Shippuden finally back in 2008 when I read that Naruto Shippuden but will be re will be airing in the United States you don't know how happy I was I read this on Wikipedia then come 2000 nine i hear the bad news that it's airing on disney xd and i was never a fan of that i i think disney sucks it wasn't that disney was going to ruin naruto they kind of did they kind of didn't it was just my opinion they didn't deserve to have things like naruto and marvel and they just bought these things just to get boys to watch their channels just to get boys to watch their channels and in my opinion i i take offense to that because they said disney by constantly airing live action crap and and not really focusing on animation they kind of just said f you to the original fans and we're gonna focus on these um new fans and girls that's why i didn't like disney channel having naruto or the marvel s stuff but i started watching naruto shippuden in 2010 and despite the late time late times which i also didn't like them airing this show late at night treating it like it's not important but um I enjoyed it watching in late 2010 early 2011 watching all of these episodes of um Naruto Shippuden it was um freaking um awesome then um then um come um then of course one day in in 2011 I noticeably turn on the television and Naruto is not there anymore and they just completely took the show off the air disregarded all refer references to it and act like it never aired there so what was the point of buying it what was the point of buying it airing it if you weren't going to finish the damn series finish the damn series and air it there so so fi it was canceled and finally finally years later i always said if toonami ever returned i hope naruto shippuden did it and toonami returned and naruto shippuden is finally here and we watched wa watched all three episodes watch the first three episodes of Shippuden and doesn't matter how many times I watch it it is always awesome and Naruto Shippuden is finally here it's gonna be here for a while and I'm loving this new lineup right now next show is One Piece love love One Piece on Toonami I think these current arcs are really aren't that good but the One Piece show itself is um pretty pretty awesome somewhat happy to see it back I was becoming a huge fan of it in 2007 i stopped caring after the show was canceled in 08 but i'm finally glad that's um back now and i really don't care as long as um ratings are high and it's here to stay and and it's providing tsunami with good viewership really don't care um next show soul leader soul leader had some criticisms about this show in the debut but i must say i love this show just like with space dandy not the best show ever but a really freaking awesome anime a new fresh anime um for toonami i'm enjoying this um show a lot this show is nearing the end and it's been entertaining um ever since next show sword art online instantly became a fan of this show when i saw it it was like Daw hack matrix and um that show 
cool Yoko in Star Wars. That's what this show reminds me of. Oh man, it's just um, it's just an um, awesome show. This show is also nearing the end, and they they've recently announced that there'll be a Soul Sword Art Online too. I hope that show is good, and I hope it airs on Toonami because Sword Art Online is awesome, and I love to see that stick around for a long time. Um, of course, here's what I don't like: FC FLCL. This was a this might be this was a Adult Swim anime show that I never cared about. I I never cared about. Um, I don't like it on um Toonami. I don't like it on um Toonami. In my opinion, it needs to get off. It needs to get off. Then at three o'clock, Naruto. Naruto. The original Naruto is back. The only thing I hate is that they had they chose to start over. They chose to start over. I wanted them to continue from the tuning exam, continue from where they left off in the tuning exam. I love watching that stuff. But um, happy that both Naruto and Naruto Shippuden are back on um, Toonami, where they belong. And then of course, three thirty, you got Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I love Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but it would be cool if they could show the original Full Metal Alchemist show. That's the show I actually grew up with. I didn't start with the manga. With the full Metal Alchemist manga. Metal Alchemist manga. Actually, I've never read the manga. I should check that out someday. Um, next show after that is Standalone Complex Ghost in the Shell. Tell you the truth. I'm also sick of this anime too. It was cool on Adult Swim. Now I'm really sick of this show. And just to tell you the truth, while I've always found this show to be good, to tell you the truth, never really cared much for this show. And I really don't care much for this show here. Um... I know Cowboy Bebop ran for a long time, but if there has to be a show that has that, that has to be constantly reran, I'd much rather watch endless reruns of Cowboy Bebop than this show. That's just me. Then, of course, um, you finally finish it up. You finally finish the night off with Inuyasha. Huge, been a huge fan of Inuyasha since um, 2000. Since I've been a huge fan of Inuyasha since 2003. Um, I I love its presence here. In reruns on Adult Swim, and I hopefully in the future, since I'll probably never take the time to watch it on my own, I still hope they'll finish. They'll they'll air they'll air the final Inuyasha Act Two. I think that was what the sequel series, the final arcs of Inuyasha was. I hope they air that in the future sometime. Well, all right, this was my review of Toonami. Like I said, I love Toonami. They, they make Adult Swim and Cartoon Network awesome. And they were the only things for a while that I was actually watching. Watching because I got so sick of the incompetence of Cartoon Network and Adult Swim. Alright. Doug87982.